Hey everybody, how you doing? Okay, um, when I started my channel, there's a, a few things that I, I've grown up loving to do. And uh, one of them is Formula One racing. I don't do it, but I like watching it. MotoGP and motorcycle riding. I've been doing it my whole life since I was just like five years old. Start off on mini bikes, then dirt bikes graduated to street bikes and through high school and since then I've always had a motorcycle so something else I've done that whole time is cook and if you read my channel or look in the about section one of the things I say is I want to talk about food so one of my favorite things to eat is nachos are nachos is nachos. I have a special recipe that I've developed kind of worked for the past 25 years and it works for me and they're like my world famous double burn nachos. They burn going in, they burn going out. So I'm going to show you how I make them. So I have my special way of doing it. First off is I think it's important the right kind of chip. Doritos nacho cheese chips these are the best I've tried other chips nothing else works like these do so you want to grab a plate lay that out get your chips and to be honest with you a new bag or whole chips are not my favorite I kind of like some broken chips in there because they add some uh, filler and work out pretty good later on when you're munching down and you get maybe too much cheese. You can grab some of the parts that don't have any cheese. So you just kind of lay them out on the plate. And my my oh, my granddaughter and my daughter and. Oh, they love these things. They they request them every time they come around. So, especially my daughter, Davida. She, oof, she loves these. But I have to ease up on the spice. So, put that aside. So one of the, the key ingredients, other than the nacho cheese chips, is the hot sauce. It's very important. I am not a sriracha hot sauce kind of guy. I am a Cholula and tapatio. These are the two hot sauces that I use religiously. And the amazing part is putting them together. When you have just tapatio, it's pretty good. When you have just cholula, it's pretty good. But you mix these two and oh my god, it is just it's the best. Whenever I make these, my wife drools. She comes running out of the back room and comes out here and man she hovers over me like give me some so i have to give her some and speaking of the wife right now she is back in the room laughing her ass off because um i don't have a, a gopro camera strap head strap chest strap anything like that um, i've worked construction my whole life what i do have is a hard hat so I rigged up my setup on a hard hat and it kind of looks like a backhoe. I might get a picture of it and show you guys what it looks like, but works for me. And uh, I'm going to be using it on some future videos because the next video is going to be my steak and bacon dogs. Uh, these are not actually mine. It's a recipe I got from barbecue pit boys and check out their channel i'll put a link in my description to their channel and they do some really incredible barbecue and different flavors and combinations and and things like that so next item cheese on oh, the bowl right there potato salad talk about that also later on another video there's a a technique for doing the potatoes that uh, everybody should know you don't just boil potatoes. So back to this. So here we are, basic setup, hot sauce, cheese, chips. You can do left, right, right, left, 
do all kinds of different things here. You can just use straight nachos with cheese, hot sauce, and go with that. But also what I like to do is make up a, a batch of seasoned beans. I get some refried beans and I add a little bit, not very much of the two hot sauces, just as a flavoring. I mean, I'm talking for a, a eight ounce can, maybe a half a teaspoon each just to flavor. But I also use uh, chili powder. It's a chili powder that I make myself. Might do something on that. I add parsley, garlic, onion powder, and different flavorings, uh, tomato sauce. So I make my beans so they're, they're just delicious. And then add cheese to the beans. Rounds them off. My wife hates it, but she loves them. So it's something that I, I like to make. Or I can get some carne asada and add that into here. So you can kind of make it more of a meal. This is the light version, if you want to say light with what I'm going to add here. Uh, it's not very light. It's kind of the heart attack special. But this is my go-to meal. Back when Formula One, uh, before I had recorders that could do it, I'd get up at 4 in the morning and start watching the Formula One race. And I'd make a batch of nachos and munch those while I'm watching the race. The cheese. This is Tillamook Mild Cheddar and uh, Monterey Jack. And I grate this myself. I do not buy the pre-grated cheese because it's disgusting. They put uh, starch on it so that they don't stick together. These stick together. This is all hand grated. I, uh, Tillamook is one of the best cheeses I've found. Uh, just great flavor, great product. And I'm not endorsed by any of them. So here's the personal choice. How much cheese do you want to put on here? Yeah, uh, I put on some, it looks like a light amount. Actually, it's going to go a little heavier. That's why you want the little chips that I mentioned in the beginning, the broken chips, because they kind of fill in the underside and you get all this cheese on top and uh, gets a little heavy. So, salsa, or the hot sauce, first, good shake, got it, shakey, shakey, shakey. This is where, again, personal choice, how hot do you want it? This can get really, really hot. It'll give you the hiccups, it gets so hot. But the flavor combos are, like I said, just unbelievable. Sorry for shaking the camera, but it's necessary. Okay, so I went that way. Now I spin the plate. I know, I'm weird. A little bit of analness going on there. But it gets the different sauces mixed up. And then, nuke it for about a minute. Your microwave may vary, depending on the power. But usually do it for about a minute and watch this part because if you overcook it the cheese turns into leather and that's never a good thing so we will sit here and wait for one minute cut I'll come back to this Okay, it's been a minute. Let's see how she looks. Mmm, mmm, ooey and gooey. All right, that's beautiful right there. It's not overcooked. Get some good stringy parts. But down here underneath, you know, some of these, so you've got some chips that don't have any cheese on them. Those are always good to add as a little filler background. You can stack them, but they're hot. Mmm. Light, flaky, cheesy, hot saucy. Double thumbs up. So, getting some camera shake again, some chewing, wearing my hard hat with the GoPro glued to it. So, anyway, 
you guys have a great evening great day those are my double burn nachos and try them out they're awesome uh, I might have trouble finding the Cholula hot sauce Tapatio is pretty well known uh, across the nation Cholula is a little more difficult to get but trust me add the two together they're incredible so y'all have a good day and we will see you later bye